Hello, dear friends of security! To protect your controllers from unauthorized access, the security mechanisms have been extended. You have now, besides the security wizard, also the possibility to protect the configuration data of the PLC with a password and the communication of the PLC via TLS. More information and how to configure this you can see in this video. In this demonstration, we show how to use the security wizard to set the safety configuration on a SIMATIC controller. First, we add a SIMATIC controller, for example S71518F. After adding this device, the new security wizard shows up. If the checkbox Do not show this dialog again is activated, or if the security wizard window is closed by accident, it can be reopened in the controller properties menu under Protection and Security Start Security Wizard. In the first window, we can define a password for confidential configuration data protection. By default, this setting is enabled. The user can edit his individual password here. After finishing the setting, we can move on to the next page of the wizard. In the next page, we choose which type of PG HMI communication we want to use. The default setting is to allow only the new TLS-based communication for improved security. However, by deselecting the setting, we could communicate in the so-called legacy mode. That means as in TIA Perl version 16 and prior. In the next window, we choose the access level we want to have on the SIMATIC controller and define a password if it is needed. The setting is not new, but in version 17 the default setting is now set to No Access. This is also the recommended setting. However, in this example, we will use HMI Access to make the initial connection to the HMI panel easier. Now the security settings for the SIMATIC controller are set. In the last page of the wizard, we see the configuration overview. For this example, a pre-configured HMI has been prepared. Next, we download the configuration to the SIMATIC controller for the first time. Since the controller still has the initial device certificate, a dialog appears asking whether we want to trust the certificate. We can open the certificate from this view and check it. We choose to trust the certificate to continue with the download. Since the password to protect the confidential configuration data is not yet configured on the SIMATIC controller, we must enter it in the download dialog. This is only necessary when downloading for the first time, as it will be saved on the controller's internal memory. This way, the controller can read the confidential configuration data during startup. When we go online after this download, we can see that the dialog to trust the certificate does not come up anymore. This is because the certificate is already trusted by TIA portal. To establish the connection to the HMI, it is sufficient to download to the panel. If we are using WinCC Runtime Advanced, we start it. It is also possible to use Certificate Authority or CA certificates for the PG HMI communication. The project must be protected in the security settings. In the Controller's Properties menu, under Protection and Security, Certificate Manager, we select Use Global Security Settings for a Certificate Manager. Then, we create a certificate for the controller. In the Connection Mechanism menu, we can choose the certificate that is used for PGHMI communication. Here, we choose the certificate that we created in the last step. To improve the security, it is recommended to set different access level passwords in the SIMATIC controller configuration. Currently, the same password is used for failsafe access, read access and write access. 
to change this, we enter individual passwords in the column Access Permission. Now the security configuration of the controller is finished and the communication between the Cmatic controller and the HMI panel is secured. Think about the topic planned and controller security and implement it conscientiously.